the Ferdinands, okay, yes, if it was to bite you, you would be history. So this guy is crazy, right? Gilbert Usher calls himself Gilly the Snake Man. We found him living in a shack in the jungle of central Belize. This animal will only strike if you feel threatened or in danger. I mean, there's a sense of trust that's developed, okay? All right, back to bed. I love you. Come on, we're tight. Gilly ekes out a living from the tips of villagers and travelers who come to stare. He goes to great lengths to demonstrate love and trust for his snakes, out of sympathy for an animal most humans love to hate. Snakes are the animals that are so, how would you say, with this negative stigma, uh, and they are no different than any other animal. Gilly started collecting serpents about 10 years ago. Some harmless, some only mildly venomous. But some, like this adult fur de lance, have enough poison to kill an animal of almost any size, and they're aggressive about using it. Gilly should know. One bit him twice, on the face and on the head. I have blood coming out of my eyes, ears, nose, foot, bottom, you name it. When it's hemotoxic, it destroys blood tissue very fast. In less than three minutes, everything called blood in my body was contaminated. Gilly was in a coma five days. His survival is a medical miracle. So this seems like a good way for him to win a Darwin Award. Now, folks, that is your Ferdinand. This animal strikes 90 miles an hour. See there? Look at that. You see this? The venom? Look at the venom on my hand. Right on the cap. Oh, God. Relax, guys. Okay, maybe it's time to go.